Hi guys, I'm Wes Goldsmith with Aquatic Control and today we're going to show you how we put in a bluegill spawning bed. Today we're picking up where we left off with this project. Last fall we renovated this pond, it's about one acre. Uh, so this spring we went ahead and did an initial stocking. You can check out a previous video where we answer some questions about that topic. We also have some mossback fish habitat around the shoreline and we've already started them on a fish feeding program. So at this point in the season where some of our bluegill are already up to a kind of a sub-adult size and they're trying to spawn. We've already noticed a few beds around the shoreline and they really just don't have the habitat that they're looking for uh, to do that real well. So today we're going to put in this bluegill spawning bed and within a couple weeks or less we should see fish on it and for years to come this will be the spot where you see all your bluegill spawning. Before we get into the benefits of this, we're going to talk about and show you some clips of how we go about doing something like this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get some kind of a, a mat to put down. There's pond liners out there, um, that kind of thing. So you're going to want to put that down first. And the reason for that, a lot, of, a lot of ponds are going to have a lot of thick sediment, especially if it's already an established pond. So you want that liner there so all your gravel doesn't just sink down into that muck. So you're going to want to lay that out, try to get as many of the bubbles out and that kind of thing. Um, and you can see where we have our stakes where we're planning on doing that. And then you're basically going to get your gravel in here. And so that's kind of where every pond's going to be a little different. Uh, today we're using a dump trailer. You could have a dump truck come and, and dump it. Uh, so you'll have to figure that out or we will figure that out if, if we would do it for you. And then you're just going to spread the gravel out. You got to do your best job to, to even all that out the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. The fish are going to make their little spawning beds no matter what. Um, and that's really all there is to it. So why do we recommend this? Uh, there's several benefits in different scenarios. The biggest reason is it's simply going to increase your bluegill reproduction. Um, the gravel allows them to clean the sediment off of there real well and it's gonna oxygenate their eggs a lot better than having to you know, make that spawning bed into some thick sediment where you know, that sediment plumes up and covers the eggs. Uh, so you're gonna get a higher percent of, of those eggs actually hatch into small fry. Um, but the bigger picture is you wanna keep your forage base rolling. So when you introduce bass or whatever predator you have in your pond, Bluegill is gonna be the backbone of that forage base. And so you really have to focus on keeping enough food out there for your largemouth, smallmouth walleye, whatever you have in there. They eat a lot of fish and the bluegill reproduction is gonna be one of the most important ways to, to manage that. And so doing this, this spawning bed here is gonna allow us to, to increase that. And if down the road we still think we need to add another one, we can always do that. This mat here is a 15 by 20, so we're going 20 this way and 15 deep. You don't have to do it that way, whatever works out in your little area. Uh, something to watch out for is the depth. They're gonna spawn in you know, zero to three feet, so if you have a really steep bank, you're gonna wanna look for a different area. There are two scenarios that you may find yourself in where you wanna strongly consider this. 
as a management tool. One is if you're about to dig a pond or you have a pond filling right now, the best time to do this is actually before the water fills up. It'll make the process a lot easier and it's something that's always gonna benefit your pond. The other scenario is if you already have established pond and you're out there fishing and you notice a lot of small bass about the same size and you're not catching a, several different size classes of bluegill, those are two big indicators that something like this can help your reproduction and begin to fix those problems. So we're finishing up here today. The last thing we have to do is just pull these stakes and we'll be done. We're actually already just standing here doing this video, seeing bluegill come check this area out. Hopefully by next week, we'll have some bluegill that are already trying to spawn. This is obviously something that you guys can do on your own, uh, but if you're not interested in that and you'd like some help, you know, we can come out there and help you. We can come out, check out the area and, and come up with a plan and, and put this sort of thing in for you guys. Um, if you have any other topics that you'd like us to cover, we're always happy to, you know, make these informative videos for you guys. Just check out our page, leave a comment, and let us know any other, you know, ideas for these videos.